All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Loft um, in 3ds Max. So Loft actually works with two objects, um, hence why it can be found under the Compound Objects tab. So you guys are probably used to working windows or extended perimeter beginner, um, but we're actually going to go down here to Compound Objects here in a little bit. So in order for the loft command to function, we're actually going to be working with spline. Splines can be found in the shapes tab, which is right next to geometry. We need eighth and a shape. So I'm going to start off with uh, an arc. I have my turned on, so everything is going to snap to the grid. Um, if you want to turn it on as well, you can just click on this three and the magnet. If you want to adjust what you're snapping to, you can right click on that snap where you want. Um, grid points should be good for this lesson. So when you're working with splines, you want to avoid working in the perspective viewport um, because splines are two dimensional shapes and some kind of wonky in a perspective viewport. But if you work in a front viewport or top viewport, depending on the shape that you're using, um, you're going to get better results. A front view is going to draw out an arc, and you can use whatever you want. Uh, feel free to experiment. Um, and then I'm going to, so this is my path. I'm going to draw out a star uh, in my top viewport for my object, or my shape. So here's my star. Um, you can adjust how many points it has if you want. Um, you can adjust the radius. Uh, so it's, it's very highly custom fit. If you want um, rounded corners in your star, you can do that. Um, it's kind of a nice detail if you want that option. So, in order to use the loft command, what our end goal here is to kind of push this star along the path. So this line is just a path that's going to turn into our shape. What we're going to do is let's go back to our geometry tab. Let's go down to compound objects. We're going to go to loft, and you see creation method: get path or get shape. Shape star here you're going to want to say get path, um, which means that I'm going to click on the path and you're going to see this shape lofted along here. Um, if your path is loft, you're going to say get shape and you're going to click on the star. So the way that I like to do it is I actually just prefer to say um, get path with my shape selected. Um, I just think it makes a little bit more sense, but it doesn't matter at all. So let's go ahead and say get path. Let's click on our path here, and that arc um, is now taking on the exact same curvature as, um, as the path that we created here. So this red, um, let me show you what that looks like if we decided to go the other way. So loft, um, I have my path selected, so let's say get shape. Click on and you'll have a nice uh, turnout there. So you can adjust any of these parameters that you want. Um, I'm not going to get into details here, but you need to experiment with the surface parameters. Um, if you want to adjust how much it actually follows the path, you can do that as well. But that is the basic loft command, so have fun with it. Um, it can be highly useful for if you are working on creating molding um, for ceilings or um, for the floor, um, you would simply just make a path like your star shape, um, and your path would follow along your. So I'm happy to do that in, in, a, in another tutorial, but uh, this is a good place to start. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Yeah.